afternoon Viva MK. Thank you for joining me on this live broadcast and update on the Viva MK business um, and what's really been going on and of course what the future plans are. I think I'm, um, I was late but I'm so used to um, timelines and deadlines and it's been very strange lately of course. Um, of course, it gives me a great chance to, like I've said before, shave as well, because I was looking a little bit like Grizzly Adams. And for the younger audience, that was just a bloke who hung around with bears. So anyway, moving on. Um, yes, uh, here we are, April the 24th. And um, I really want to first congratulate a whole load of people, then do a prize draw, and then tell you what the general plan is and what we what we want to do, because I've realised, like many of us have realised, that regardless of what's it is, of course, tragic what's going on in the entire country and entire world, but the show must still go on. You know, we have to prevail as people, we have to prevail as nations, we have to prevail as businesses. Of course we do. And some of us um, have to take that view all of the time. And speak to, speaking to many business associates I have, um, it, they, they split into two different division one lot who really aren't thinking far enough ahead and are going with the flow which is absolutely fine and there's the other division that are thinking way ahead how are we going to get through this and how are we going to look at the other end when we pick the business back up to full speed again. So for me, as you can imagine, it is the latter. Right from day one of lockdown, myself and the team have been discussing what happens next. How do we get through this? How do we carry on supporting people through? And at the other end, what is the business going to look like and how are we going to progress? And that's where the um, change and evolve philosophy came from. Goodness me, we've had to adapt our entire lifestyles, as you well and truly know, our entire lives, let alone the business. We have to change through these times. The entire world is changing and it's going to look different you don't need me to bleat on about that and then of course evolve there's so much going on with everything but I'll tell you something when the moment comes and it will come your customers will excuse the metaphor will embrace you with open arms whether they're socially distanced or not because our kind of warmth and business will prevail better and bigger than any kind of business. You already know the response you're getting. People begging you to deliver products, to be there, to drop catalogs and do everything else you do. For that connection, I've always told you the most important thing is not the product. Yes, it matters, but it's not the product. It's the people and the connection. And that is one thing you're good at and so good at, not just good at, so good at. Um, you know, and that is where we will prevail and that our massive superpower, like I've always said to you, it's our massive superpower, the ability to connect with people. And it's become so important. That's why the show must just go on. And our plans that we started way before lockdown, in fact, because everybody knew what was coming, but throughout lockdown and every single day, and I'll talk more about that in a moment. First, just... um some recognition for the brand directors, the beauty brand directors. You know, every week you've been producing videos that lift people up. You know, you're excelling in what you do. You're doing fantastically as a team. And that is so appreciated, not just by me, but people in the business, but people outside of the business. You know, you'd be surprised if you knew who wants to join our business and who is interested, you'd be really surprised. Or maybe not. Anyway, it's a story for another day. So congratulations to all the beauty brand directors. They sent a PDF out the other day of telling you exactly who they are. Uh, I didn't need the reminder, of course, but many people did. And of course, then there's the Sparkle team. You know, when we created these teams, who knew that the 
own in the way they have now in the challenges that we got. Nobody knew that. I just did it because I wanted to get good people together that had a common interest and we did that. Some great people in both teams and the Sparkle team with your demo videos. You know, you, your promotion of the eco range, the eco, um, the, the, the eco friendly, people friendly range that only arrived on your doorsteps last week. You know, your promotion of that alone has been phenomenal. You know, sometimes you might not realize the power that you have by doing these things, but do you see other businesses doing it? How often have you seen another business promote their products in the way that you do? in the way that you do. Remember, there's plenty of people doing raffles and giveaways and, you know, promoting their business through the charity angle, which, you know, I've always had a challenge with that. It's not that what you have done, you've promoted the product, you've supported people within your teams, inside your teams, and you do, you know, you continue to build the business, even through these challenging times. Now, that is absolutely vitally important. So congratulations to all the brand directors. Thank you for all you do every week and the Sparkle team. What you're doing is phenomenal and I do not see any other business. This is where you stand out. Then we have the advocates, all 39 advocates. You know, I am constantly thinking of things and constantly wanting to do things, constantly wanting to uh, adapt, change and evolve. And you know, I won't always get it right. I'll be the first to admit it. And it's great to have the advocates on board um, because some of them, some of them are absolutely phenomenal. For me, a sizable boot up the ass. And I obviously need it sometimes. I, I have my team for that as well. I mean, the team are brilliant at that. They don't hold back. The team can this time completely. No one, none of you can give me the hard time that the team give me, and rightly so. Otherwise, I'd just be wild and all over the place and unorganized like I am today. But the advocates from a business company uh, network point of view, some of them, um, you know, have been worth their absolute weight in gold in the support they're giving, the direction they're talking about. And when I suggest things that may not work so well, they are the first to get in there and say, uh, you're talking rubbish, you kick up the ass, which is fantastic, which is what the purpose was. So those three teams, the brand director, Sparkle team, advocates, are fantastic. goes without saying, the support you are genuinely giving people is not like anything I see in any other business. And I know that because I have people from other businesses asking me to join this organization. So that tells me everything. So now to products. Of course, I've just mentioned the eco range and the, the people friendly, uh, sorry, the, the, the eco friendly and people friendly range. Um, you know, we've only got three products in it. We've got a plan to create a lot more to suit all of your needs. And that brand recognition of products that actually work. And remember, there's the key. Anybody can slap on an eco range. Anybody can say people friendly. Um, but do they work? Well, you just have to see some of the videos that the Sparkle team are doing. Do they work? Goodness me. I always said to you, they would be better than other products. And the Sparkle team or anybody else who is actually using the products and showing the products is learning are actually working better than on the shelf ranges. Now that's really good for an eco range. That was the whole point. Like I said, anybody can slap out a, a range and we've seen that before anybody. Something that works, does as it says on the label. Now that's a real coup. And those products being better than their equivalents, their harsher equivalents, is a real plus point for us. And I'm really going to work on that um, to a timeline. So when we're back and we're back in full force, you have a, a bigger range to go with. And, you know, these new people that we're working with, the new manufacturers, they assure us of that quality. And I think you're learning that. So that's absolutely fantastic. Now, products in general, um, we are about 97% in stock, I know percentage doesn't often mean bugger all and people often quote it. And I used to bleat on about it in cleaningsy when it really meant nothing. But it means, yes, there's things out of stock, but mostly, 
mostly because many suppliers have actually shut down and they're just waiting to reopen. Um, so it's been two or three weeks. So our some of our uh, supplies have been diminishing, of course, um, but we did buy quite heavily up front as all this was evolving. We had to do that. We had to put a fair bit of cash into that. Um, but now one or two things will start dwindling. However, we'll get on top of it because some of those suppliers are now re um, which is, again, who must go on. Some suppliers are taking that step and deciding they've got to do something. They've They've got to plan. They've got to think for. So, you know, at the moment, it's about 97 percent in stock, um, which is a good number by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but just be wary of that. Uh, you know, we'll stay on top of it. But if you see something out of stock, there is going to be a damn good reason. And that reason is the supplier is probably shut. So that is that's the way it is. So. Let's do um, the 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 um, online shop has been live for one uh, month now. Four weeks it's been live. Four weeks yesterday went live. So thank you and congratulations to all of you that have embraced that. That's what I call adapting, changing, and evolving. Some of you had only ever done catalog drops, um, but some of you have now had some phenomenal results because you couldn't leave the house because you were truly quarantined. And of course, for safety reasons, you know, you strayed away from catalog drops. Now, the way you've evolved there is phenomenal we've got a lot of engagement in the shop you saw my numbers on that yesterday you saw the congratulatory emails that went out and you also saw the recognition on the Facebook group you know it's never going to be enough and everybody should engage their shops because that is whether somebody's buying from you or not the fact is you're engaging with people and connecting with people and engagement is so important, like the engagement we all have with each other, like the engagement I try and have with you and you have with me. That engagement is so important. So you may have a customer base that has bought bugger all through your shop, you know, but that's not important. Well, it's important, but the point is, is the connection you're making. And that connection will be worth its weight in gold once we're out of this mess. So get your shops activated and thank you to everybody that's done that in the four weeks. You know, that was a very new concept for us. You know, many companies have got online shops and have had them for, for eons, but for us, it was a new departure and it's a departure that's worked really well because it's given us something to focus on whilst we couldn't do the things that we're really, really good at. So we were going to give some prizes for the orders so in reverse order and this is a hundred pound prize just for simply having um the highest single order so in position number three it was a john hewitt thank you for that a third highest order in four weeks through an online shop that we'd never had before so phenomenal number two mr adam renison thank you for that his second highest single order through your shop and the first single order through shop, I did actually come into hundreds and I don't have the number here because this is what happens when I haven't got Kirsty and Kieran to support me or carry me. I don't have numbers. But Ian Sharp, congratulations to you. You had the single highest order through your online shop within days of us going live. So Ian Sharp, £100 reward coming to you. Congratulations. Then we had the most individual orders. So which shop has had the most orders flow through it in the mere four weeks that we have had shops open? In position number three, Sarah Salisbury, congratulations to you, putting a lot of orders through your shop, which is absolutely phenomenal, a tool that we only had four weeks ago. In position number two, Ali Lloyd and Jeff Locke, congratulations to you. Your engagement is incredible. Again, a point there, you know, you're our highest retailers, catalog retailers, and you have been from day one. And for you to now be second on the list for most individual orders in a system you've never used before is quite frankly incredible. So that resilience thank you for that and in position number one individual orders and another hundred pound prize it's lisa and kevin ratton congratulations to you you had the single most orders come through your shop now remember everybody four weeks this has been live we never had any kind of 
company online presence before that. So that's great. And here, I've had to do this myself because normally uh, Kirsty and Kieran um, get all the names together. Um, so I had to do that myself. But I've got a nice, nicer box than I normally have. Look at that for a box. Isn't that a nice box? Um, one of my favorite artists there, Gustav Klimt. But anyway, enough about art. So in there are all the people that place uh, had orders come through their shops. They're all in here. Neatly as Kirsty. They're a bit haphazard and all over the place, a little bit like my character. Um, but I'm going to pick one, and that's a £50 prize for um, orders, um, anybody who placed any order. So um, let's just pick one person out of here. And that is, and here we are. And it is uh, £50 for this person. And it is Janet Lyle and Steve Rees. Uh, congratulations to you um, just for having activity within your shop and you know here's something funny normally Kirsty would moan at me we only had one prize for that but you know what I mean that kind of mood today. let's do another one who cares does anybody really care let's do one more she'd be moaning at me now in the background but haha can't moan so here we go let's have another one this second person which I'm not really supposed to is also a 50 pound prize so let's go with this one um, let's see. Second £50 prize, and it is Paul and Mel Council. Now, I apologize, Paul, because that isn't actually the um, same Melanie that is actually your wife. I think I paired you with the wrong Melanie Council yesterday. I do apologize to both of you. Your wife is actually called Mel Council, and I tagged the wrong person. Nevertheless, um, not only did you get a wife, but you got £50 prize, so congratulations. I better not do any more, but, that, but all of those people will get prizes. So thank you to all of you for your shop engagement, and that has really worked really well. Four weeks in, I know there's shops out there that have been active for decades in companies but for us it was new we had to create it within 48 hours from the moment locked we were already working on it obviously because we knew something but um but then we had to activate it almost prematurely within 48 hours but that is bringing results and keeping connection there which is really important like i said the show must go on now let me tell you about sharing um, I th we've talked about the brand directors and the Sparkle team sharing what they have, sharing their expertise, sharing their knowledge, sharing their skills, sharing their videos, sharing everything. You know, you know how unique and wonderful that is at a time like this? I would say to anybody, if you have any kind of success in anything you do, please, please, please share it with everybody else. It's vital at a time. I was talking to one of these people that want to join our business from another organization, obviously for professional reasons, I won't say which organization, but they were sick and tired of people not sharing with them, not even their own upline. How bizarre is that? Their own upline sharing systems with them and ideas. Now, that's one of the ways I do believe we stand out because we have the, 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 the people's business connection that I've always believed in. And that has meant that the people engaged in our business do share. Look, the brand directors and the Sparkle team, they have no purpose go and just do that for the sake of it they do it because they want to share what they do for the good of the company trust me people not every organization works no because i've been involved in most of them they don't all work like that so if you have something to share that works tell everybody give it to everybody you have no idea how that supports people and builds people um you know, I was uh, talking to Lynn McDonald, new system that she'd been working on for weeks and weeks and weeks. And yet, that system and we will support it. it it's, their ver it's her team's version of how they do online selling. You know, if you don't all want to use it, it doesn't matter. But the fact is, she's worked on it and she's willing to share it with everybody in the business. You know, that is rare.
our kind of organizations that people want to universally share. And many of you don't have done that with your Zoom calls, um, with your um, trainings. So many of you are sharing what you do what that does for an organization what it does it stops division so it stops a them and us situation because we never wanted that we wanted one team that works together yes you'll have different systems here and there but you know it's not about that the fact is that you're willing to share and that brings about a connection. You know, when somebody who's not even connected to your team shares something with you or helps you with something, that is where a business like ours is worth its weight in gold because it's not common. It's not common in every organization. Some people are very coveted in their little system or the what they do or what secrets they have. Um, we used to have it in our own clean easy. People their own little groups, their own little secrets. Nope, not gonna put up, put up with that anymore. We're one team and we have to work together. And at times like this, when the country is in the state it is, when the world is in the state it is, it's times like this, things like that put the real value into our business. Now, to finish with about the show must go on, um, none of us know what the outcome is going to be. We don't know when lockdown finishes. We don't know when anything is going to finish because it's... But as a business, you can't just carry on being vague you have to build plans and okay if those plans are thwarted because um you know the, the the pm says something or something happens or the country has to be in a certain way fine but if you don't have the plan and he's ready to go then you're scuppered so you have to think way ahead as to what you want to do now whether you like it or not and some of you are wanting um, improve your engagement over the next coming weeks throughout May and, and you want to uh, start doing catalogs and I've always said to you you have to perform and proceed with absolute 100% safety because the first thing that matters the most is your safety your family and of course your customers so to it with safety you know I'm not a world guidance on this you have to use common sense and do the right thing but in my head as a business plan you know and you might think this is over ambitious but we have to think like this I'm not of the division that lies down and waits for things to happen I and my team are of the division that we have to make things happen and if in the world, things don't allow that. Adapt, change and evolve. But in my head, I'm looking at Monday 1st of June, where I'm going to try and gear everything to get ready as in full steam ahead. And if that changes because of the world, I will change. I'm not going to break the rules. But what I am going to do is give you an element of confidence that we are working towards a date. And by that date, in my head, I have to work that we have to have everything ready, up and ready and in your hands and ready to go. That we are in a, 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 a preparatory a position during the month of May that we can go full steam ahead. Look, you know, I don't want... You know, Karen from Facebook, as she's known, to come and now advise me on what's right or wrong. I can do what the hell I want and I will put that date in because you have to plan like that. Now, if the situation in the country changes and it gets any, any, there's another lockdown or something else happens, then we will change accordingly. Remember the C in ad ad adapt, change, evolve. You can change, you can adapt, you can evolve. But if I don't focus on something, then I can't work that way. You know, anybody who runs any kind of business has to focus. And one of the dilemmas with what we've all been going through is not having a date and a time to focus on because it wasn't possible and it isn't possible out there is unbeknown, it's unknown, it's unprecedented. And as Paul Brown would say, para paralleled, you know, none of us know, but I have to focus on a date. Whatever you're doing between now proceed with safety. I can't stress that enough. You know, 
uh, like I've said to you, being the people's business, people come first. Your safety and your customer's safety. As an organization, we have to keep focusing on a date and you'll hear more about that. And if anything changes, then we'll adapt. But I don't want to be caught with my trousers down. We're very appropriate terminology there. And just to prove that I trousers um, when I'm doing these live broadcasts. In Zooms, maybe not, but certainly here. Anyway, that's cut off the subject. I don't want to be caught with my trousers down. I want to be caught. Um, I want to be ready and full guns blazing ahead, ready to go and get back to some form of normality. So as planned show must go on. What you're doing and what you're gradually doing do with safety. And we'll talk more about that next week when we issue another customer letter for you. Um, so you can keep your customers engaged from a company stance. I think you've heard enough from me now. Um, we issued a clearance sale this morning, um, all end of line products. And there you go, a perfect example of the staff thinking steps ahead this was all down to them nothing to do with me um and that's thinking ahead because they're thinking we've got to start stocking christmas we're thinking christmas people can't even think about tomorrow and we're thinking about christmas we we, we next catalog launches we're thinking about next year and to engage those there's a lot of shelves that needs to be cleared so that's why you have an end of season clearance sale that is what i mean about the show must go on so listen stay safe obviously everybody tells you that um keep doing what you're doing keep supporting each other you know in the way you've seen brand directors and sparkle team do that it's unbelievable it doesn't happen everywhere i know because i get around everywhere and i know what goes on so thank you for doing everything congratulations to all our thank you to the wonderful hq team that um keep all of our sanity place they've kind of missed it with me on this occasion but generally keep sanity in place and of course every single distributor that is involved in this organization um you know i know it's i don't want to sound mercenary but there's still nowhere i would rather be than embroiled within this business with all of you people so stay safe and uh, let's catch up soon Bye bye